Hey there guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Doom 2016 running on both the Ryzen 5 5560U and the Ryzen 5 5600H. Now both of these are running on the B-Link SCR5 mini PC. There are some differences between the two models, but the biggest difference is really just down to the different APUs that are running on here. Now fundamentally the biggest difference is the fact that the 5560U is running at 25 watts and it has a Radeon 6 iGPU, which means it has 6 GPU cores. And a maximum clock speed of 1600 megahertz while the 5600h has a tdp of 35 watts it has a radeon 7 igpu so 7 gpu cores and a maximum clock speed of 1800 megahertz now this does lead to some pretty noticeable differences in terms of the overall performance here now we are running both games at the full 1080p resolution with the lowest in-game graphics settings you will see that on the 5560u the overlay is just slightly bigger because i had set it to essentially a little bit larger of a setting and I didn't realize that it wasn't matched up with how it was in the 5560U. But both are running with the exact same graphics settings. Now, both are providing a very playable experience, though you are getting pretty much a 60 FPS average on the 5600H, while the 5560U is really giving you more of a 40 FPS average. Neither is giving you a bad experience when it comes to the 1% lows, but the 1% lows on the 5600H are even higher than the FPS averages we're getting on the 5560U. Now, of course, the TDP differences are going to make a difference here but as well as just the slower gpu that is on the 5560u is going to make a noticeable difference here as well one thing to point out though is the difference in terms of temperature that we're getting here as well the 5560u is running significantly cooler and quieter while the 5600h is really starting to push towards the edge of what i would consider to be a comfortable experience here neither is reaching thermal throttling or anything like that but the model with the 5600h is is pretty noticeably louder and it is throwing out a bit more heat now the performance uplift is pretty noticeable and i think that overall it does provide a noticeably better experience but if you're in an environment where your ambient temperatures are going to be just noticeably hotter maybe you don't have air conditioning or something like that or you're just in a very hot region of the world you might be better off going with the lower temperature lower wattage 5560u model you're still getting very nice very playable performance but the temperatures that we're reaching are just significantly lower and that gives you a lot more headroom where if you're somewhere where the temperatures do get pretty hot you're going to be further away from the thermal throttling point if it was the middle of a texas summer and i didn't have air conditioning the system with the 5600h would very quickly start to reach thermal throttling temperatures and that's going to be very detrimental to the overall experience now for the vast majority of people this is not something you're going to have to worry about again it really just comes down to very very specific scenarios that there. but it is something to keep in mind when it comes to the systems that just inherently run hotter so there is some merit to the 5560u existing like this so i think that the vast majority of people would probably just be happier with the 5600h neither is a bad option here though and i'm glad to see that both give us a really nice very playable experience now of course with both of them we never really hit a 60 fps average so what we can do is drop the render resolution down to around 85 percent for both of them and see what that does to the performance now the 5600h does actually get a nice little boost in performance where our averages are now comfortably above 60 and our one percent lows are just shy of that 60 mark but in general just looking at those frame times everything is smooth everything is consistent and you're gonna have a great time like this the 5560u doesn't see as big of an uplift and we're still not hitting that 60 fps average but our average does remain consistent in the 50s and our one percent lows do get a nice little bump though we don't get anything substantial in general both feel really really nice to play now the price difference between the two systems themselves is not really that high usually it's anywhere around 30 to 50 dollars in terms of difference and i think that again depending on the region that you're in and what your ambient temperatures are going to be like the 5600h is just going to be far more worthwhile again it's not to say that the model with the 5560u is a bad experience or anything like that there is just a noticeable gap in terms of the overall performance here but again the temperatures that we're reaching are just much much cooler and it runs noticeably quieter but there are a few other differences in terms of the models themselves and i think that if you have the money for it i would definitely go with the model with the 5600h i think that the vast majority of people would be happier with that that being said the model with the 5560u does have its own merits just in terms of running cooler running quieter you get the flexibility of actually being able to adjust the tdp between 15 watts and 25 watts depending on what it is 
that you want to do. This is just going to be a system that you're giving to your kids or a sibling or something like that that is mostly just going to be playing things like Minecraft or Roblox. You can actually just set the TDP to something even lower so it is absolutely dead silent while it's being used. Or if you need a PC that will at least have a little bit of power to it that will last you a good while but that you're going to be using as something like a media PC or something like that to just play videos, play movies on your living room. Having a system that is just sipping power even at its maximum load is really nice to have. But at least in terms of this game in particular, the 5600H has a noticeable lead in it and I think that it is a better investment, especially since the price difference between the two isn't substantial. Now, if there was a $100 difference between the two, then you could make an argument for the 5560U. But as it stands, the 5600H is just the way to go. But anyways, I hope you found this comparison between the two systems in Doom 2016 to be useful, entertaining, or interesting. Be sure to subscribe. Of course, check out the Amazon affiliate links down below to these two individual systems so you can price them out if you are interested in between the two. See if the price difference between the two of them right now because they do go on sale all the time. See if it's worthwhile for you and what exactly is going to fit your needs. But anyways, I will catch you in the next one.